Hey guys, this is Chanley Style and I'm Brian. Today I just want to do a quick unboxing of the video security solution. I picked this up on Amazon for about 15 bucks. I'm going to be installing a small flat panel right above my main monitor just for extra shits and giggles. You get the plastic off of it really fast so uh, you can actually read the box with me. So we got um, low profile design fast simple wall mounting meets uh, VSA standards it's good for 3 inch or 4 inch holes on the back of your monitor supports up to 33 pounds uh, includes stud mount, wall, stud mount wall plate and it's uh, adjustable for any viewing angle so it tilts uh, 70 degrees up or down and it can rotate uh, 180 degrees side to side Looks good. All right, let's see what's in this thing. Got a piece of paper. Ah, simple instructions. User manual. All right, and it's already pre-assembled. That's pretty. It's pretty fucking sturdy, actually. Not that heavy. Should be pretty easy to mount to the wall. Okay. And then you got uh, all your hardware, Allen wrench, plenty of screws, your big lag bolts for your uh, mounting in the wall stud. It's even got anchors in case you have uh, cement walls. So that'd be uh, nice for people that like live in shitty housing. Alright, that's pretty much it. That's all that's in the box. I'll hang it up and then I'll see you from there. Okay, so I got it installed on the wall. Pros. It fits great against the monitor. I got an old Samsung 19-inch uh, monitor. It's got a 100 millimeter spacing and or 4 inches, depending on what you use. The arm itself is pretty lightweight, so it's not hard to handle when you're installing it. And it's pretty cheap. I got it for 15 bucks on Amazon. If I had to pay the uh, 99 that it was asking for, I would not have been happy. The cons are the hardware sucks. Uh, it does come with a bunch of screws depending on whatever size you need, which is nice. But the anchor screws, or whatever you're going to call them, the thing you screw into the stud, blow. I uh, made it maybe an inch into the stud and they stopped and stripped. I had to grab a wrench, well, pliers, and just slowly inch it in, turn by turn, only about, you know, this much at a time. Uh, it's still kind of slanted funny, that mostly just because the, I don't think the arm's meant to stick out the way I have it. So there's a slight kick to the uh, monitor. And I'm anal. I, I, I have a level. I, it, I'm, I really want that shit to be level. It's driving me crazy, but I'm just going to deal with it. I, I hung the TV, all the pictures in my house, they're level. I, I can't uh, stress how much I wanted this project to work out. Hold on one second. Okay, so basically this is what I'm looking at. It looks alright. But if you can tell, it's definitely got a lean to it. I know it doesn't completely center up with the monitor below it, but my studs were kind of off center. It was either here or all the way over here, and I didn't want it here. The reason I put it here is because I wanted it to be able to swing out and look out over here. So that way when my mother-in-law is Skyping or if I'm trying to show my wife, something on like Facebook or YouTube I don't have to have her get up I can just swing the monitor around and if you look here you can see it's not gonna focus but you can see the damage I had to do to it just to get it to screw in the lag bolts actually angled this way to hit the stud so it's a combination fucking terrible craftsmanship of the wall and combination terrible lag screw uh, other than that, the top one went in perfect. 
I had to finish it off with a screwdriver because like I said once it got deep enough in there it was gonna strip view it from the back I had a nice little angle on it it can go all the way flat all the way up it's it's a pretty decent well versatile little arm uh, zip tied the cords back there so they're not knocking things off when I swing the monitor around all in all it's it's okay for my final thoughts, I've only got a couple. First, in the future when I do a project like this, and just in the near future in general, I'm going to be getting better lag bolts. Something I can really anchor into the stud, so I don't have to worry about this thing stripping out or falling out of the wall. All in all, I spent 40 bucks, 15 on the arm and 25 on the monitor. Got it at a used waste uh, electronic recycling place. I got a lot of stuff down there. It was pretty cool. Um, I can definitely see why the arms are 85% off because if people are having the problems I am, you're not going to pay $100 for this thing. Um, another plus, too, is that the arm nuts all have hex tips on them so you can tighten down and lock it in one solid position so you don't have to worry about it swinging around. But I wanted mine to do that, so you have options. All in all, I probably would buy it again if I had the option. <sighs> yeah. It's cheap and it gets the job done. I, I really can't bitch. I just, now in hindsight, now I know what to look for.